What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostiva, and we're finally back with another narrated Wi-Fi battle video. Now, this battle I had a long time ago, but I also thought it was entertaining enough to post. Um, as you can see from the teams, kind of weird. I'm using Scarf Halucha, um, my Assault Vest, Chestnut, uh, I believe that's Life Orb, Heliolus that we're using. Defog Swana, just because I had never used a Swana before, and so I wanted an excuse to breed one. Mega Caesar, Swords Dance, and Substitute. And um, uh, Max HP, Max Defense, Gudra. Very, very odd. Uh, I didn't. I already knew looking at his team I was going to have a lot of trouble with his team. But, you know, yeah, we're here to have fun. Uh, so I overpredicted on the first turn. I went for the U turn, thinking that he would just switch out into something like Chestnut. I really should have just gone for the fighting move. But seeing that he's going to stay in, I take that to mean he's probably going to go for Tail Slap. So I go on to Caesar, and he actually does a ton of damage with that, hitting all five times. Well, six if you include, well, five and a half if you include the crit, I guess. Uh, this is a good opportunity to Mega Evolve, though, and I really just wanted to put some damage on something. Unfortunately, he goes out in the Chestnut, and I can't do anything to this thing when it's max HP, max defense. Uh, here I expected him to go for Spiky Shield, but he actually goes for Leech Seed, and that works out. And here I was still expecting him to go for Spiky Shield, so now I set up with Swords Dance, and I definitely could have attacked right there. He just goes for a Hammer, I'm going to break my sub. And now I'm thinking, okay, he probably doesn't have the Spiky Shield. He would have used it for sure by now, right? Right? Wrong. So he uses Spiky Shield right then, and then I punch right into it, which... I guess I'm confused how a spiky grass shield would hurt a, a hard shell steel type Pokemon, but whatever. Um, and he shows me his other move is Spike, so now I know his whole moveset, which is kind of nice though. Uh, and I don't have enough HP to use Substitute again, unfortunately, and this is before I started running Roost on this Caesar, which I really like Roost on Mega Caesar a lot better. His bulk allows him to take a lot more hits and just get that HP back with Roost, so. Uh, I'm going to go out into Prince Derek now, for any of you guys know what movie that is from, you shall seek out Odette and bring her to me, but I'm going to go for Rain Dance just because my Gudra has Thunder, um, it also has Hydration and Rest, so I wanted to be able to switch it in here and use Rest to outstall his uh, Gudra as well. I was hoping that he was an offensive Gudra, but that Hurricane doesn't do anything, um, which probably means that he's either Assault Vest or he's just max invested in Special Defense. Um, I am holding the Damp Rock, so I get quite a few turns of rain, and if he wants to go for the Fire-type move, of course, with the rain, it's not going to do very much to my Chestnut. As I mentioned at the beginning of the battle, this is a uh, Salt Vest Chestnut, which is unfortunate because I'm not going to be able to trade Spiky Shields with him. Uh, I do notice, of course, with Bulletproof, that's going to block moves like Seed Bomb completely. And so I went for Seed Bomb right there instead of going for another Power Up Punch because um, it would just say that Bulletproof blocked it rather than me running my fist into his spiky shield, which would hurt me. So uh, that was my thinking there. Unfortunately, that was the turn where he decided to go for spikes. Uh, I take that hammer on pretty well, considering Chestnut's above average attack stat and it being stabbed. Uh, and unfortunately, it's just not looking like I'm going to be able to finish off this Chestnut here because I'm kind of... I'm guessing incorrectly when he is going to go for Spiky Shield when I use Seed Bomb. Uh, which means not only is he able to get up all three layers of his spikes, but the, the leftovers recovery from me guessing wrong uh, means I'm not going to be able to finish him off with the Hammer Arm, although it does do a very impressive amount of damage. Uh, he goes for yet another Spiky Shield here. Really should have gone for Seed Bomb, and I do. I didn't really predict that. I was just kind of frustrated at that point. Well, not really frustrated, but I... I had guessed wrong so many times that I had kind of given up on it a little bit. Uh, and predicting maybe a switch out into Bonnet 
predicting the fighting type move, I'd go for Shadow Claw just to finish him off. But it doesn't matter because he has Sinchino, and at that low amount of HP, he's also probably Scarfed. Uh, oh wait, no, he's not Scarfed. He didn't outspeed my Hawuch in the beginning. Um, he's probably, he actually might be Bandit, now that I think back to the damage he did to Caesar. Uh, just gonna go for Defog, get rid of his spikes. I don't have any uh, entry hazards of my own, but several of my Pokemon are grounded, so I don't want those around, really. I could have gone for Rain Dance, so my uh, Gudra could have had the ability to go for Rest and have the Hydration kick in. But, I don't have that opportunity, he just goes for Dragon Tail. Good thing I got rid of those entry hazards. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to hit him with on this uh, Heliolisk. So I'm just going to go for Volt Switch. I didn't think he would go for Dragon Tail again, which is why I went for Volt Switch. He actually just goes for Fire Blast, thinking that I probably am um, the Dry Skin variant, especially running on a Rain rain team there. And once again, I overpredict and go for a U-Turn when I really just should have gone straight for the attack. Now, unfortunately, I ended up switching into my Gudra as he goes for Dragon Pulse. I am able to outspeed him, but it doesn't mean much as I can't finish him off. Uh, another possible move right there would have been, excuse me, would have been to go straight for the rest. Um, I think I maybe could have been able to live two attacks, but that's neither here nor there. I ended up misclicking there and going for the poison jab. Uh, I wanted to go for the aerial ace, but I misclicked, which sucks because now Vivian can definitely quiver dance up in my face. And of course, uh, Poison Jab will be not very effective against Manette. I really only have it there so that I can use it against Fairies. Uh, that is going to work out. We're going to get a double down, though. I think I could have finished off the Vivian without the need for a double down if I had gone for Aerial Ace. But that's okay. Double downs are still the best types of downs. And I believe my last Pokemon is Heliolisk while he still has Sinchino, Starmie, and Manette left. So not, not really looking too good here. But Net does have a very high attack stat, but as you know, Heliosk is normal and electric, so he can't really hit me. Now, I knew that he had Will-O-Wisp most likely. Unfortunately, I have all offensive moves on my Helioptile, tile, so um, not, not all physically offensive moves. But I'm saying that when he uses Destiny Bond, he's going to take me out because I have no way to not attack him, I suppose. Uh, this is important because... I think I could have outsped and KO'd his Starmie. Um, the, since he didn't send it out earlier, I'm thinking he was probably running a more bulky build. And uh, although that still would have left me at odds with his Sinchino. So that was an interesting match. We got to use some Pokemon that I haven't used very much. Looking forward to using Swanna a little bit more. It has a weird base speed and it's a little bit more bulky than it seems. So I might need to come up with some better sets for that Pokemon. Uh, but I just have been completely swamped by work lately guys so please excuse me for only getting up one video a week I now have four part-time jobs and I have a I had a really good job interview last week so we'll see if that goes anywhere we ended up being about a two and a half hour job interview and I had to drive an hour and a half to get there and so that you know and then an hour and a half to get back that's already that's a that's a good portion of the day that you were awake there taken up by a job interview and then you take into account the gas you needed to get there, the time you took off work to go to the interview. That's some heavy opportunity cost there for all my economics out there. So, uh, I hope you all enjoyed this match. I will, uh, definitely be uploading again on Friday. I'm, what I'm going to do is take some time when I get off work and just do, uh, use the good old automatic uploader to put that up while I am at work at one of my many jobs. But I hope you all have a great day. And thanks for your continued support and patience with my channel. Talk to you all later. Bye now.